What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here, bringing you some more Sakamoto Days manga read. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me on this channel and on this series, bro. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm excited to get into these chapters today, so I'ma stop yapping. Y'all know how I love to yap. Without further ado, y'all, let's jump right into the manga read. All right, y'all, day 19, fight. All right, now, who can answer the next question? Me, me, me. Yes, Hana? Aren't you glad we asked Shin and Lou to mind the shop? I hope they're managing all right. They're fine. Probably. Oh, nah, bro. Hey, Lou! How come you always wear my apron for dirty jobs? Oh, please. You're such a whiner. Fine. You wash the windows then. Why me? Listen, I want to make something clear. With Mr. Sakamoto and Mrs. Oi at Parents' Day for Hana School, I'm the one in charge here. Well, good on you. Shin is such a child sometimes. Hey, if you have something to say, then say it out loud. You think I can't hear what you're thinking? I'm free to think what I want. You're the weirdo who's always snooping around in other people's heads. Yo, hey, Taisuke. Okay, wait, well, he came back. Okay, cool. It, that wasn't the last time we saw bro. That's what's up. I'm here to pick up some leftover pork buns again. Sneaking around in other people's thoughts like some perv. You creepy blonde mind stalker. Shut up, you drunken apron thief. Grr. It's good to see Pasuke and Haisuke again, bro. I never know when you're reading my mind. I can't relax around you. Is that so? Well, I'm sorry. Hmm? Huh? Hey now, should you go after him? No. Can I eat this? You get out too. <laughs> no, that's funny, bro. Ugh, so annoying. Is that so? I didn't do anything wrong, but when he gets back, maybe I'll be a little nicer to him. That's the grown-up thing to do. <laughs> what a pain in the neck. What the? <laughs> you think you could just come waltzing back in here? This is the place? Huh? Oh. Oh. -ho. So you're Shin. Well, that was easy. <laughs> you're coming with us. Huh? Wait. Mmm. Mmm. Crazy, huh? Who would have thunk this subject 11 years after escaping the lab was living peacefully in a town like this? I figured she was dead for sure. Her hair isn't even the same color. <laughs> and from the name, I was expecting a boy. Whatever. Yo. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, bro. Uh, Mr. Tanaka, this is kind of hard to bring up, but... Huh? What is it, Seba? Don't you think maybe this person isn't the kid in the photo? Hmm? Of course it's the same kid. The name tag says Shin. I'll kill you, you moron. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, so based off the fact that the name tag on the apron says Shin, that's Shin. Okay, <laughs> I, I see the logic. Okay, bro. But what do they want with this kid? What's the deal? I don't know all the details either. Look, the lab does experiments with supernatural powers, right? Shin is valuable as a successful specimen, an actual clairvoyant. Man, that's creepy, ain't it? I mean, think about it. Someone who can peek right into your head? Who'd want to be around someone like that? Sounds like a lonely existence. Yeah, poor bastard. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Mr. Tanaka, Mr. Tanaka. I heard that, you creeps. Shin may be stupid and neurotic and childish, but he's a way better person than you jerks. You, you, huh? Just because someone's different, who are you to assume their life is miserable? Wait, what's your name? Me? Lu Jia Tang. See, I told you. You never listen, Mr. Tanaka. Where's the real Shin? Oh well. I guess it's up to me to be the grown-up. Huh? Where'd she go? Slacking off again? Broken glass? We're home! Uh-oh. Did something happen? Mr. Sakamoto. And when I got back, Lou was gone. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. She's traveling down the National Highway heading southwest. Huh? Mr. Sakamoto, what's that? Those name tags have GPS trackers. I had no idea. Let's go for a ride and get Lou back while we're at it. Idiots! We abducted some other kid. What a disaster. They'll kill us for sure. Yep. Get off the freeway, you moron! The next exit isn't for 15 kilometers. Bro, they're playing cars in the back? Damn it, damn it! This is why I hate going out in the field. Well, should we just pretend this kid is Shin? That's a great idea! We'll just say he lost his ESP. But isn't the gender thing a dead giveaway? Gah! I'm so stupid. I bet this is my punishment for being mean to Shin. I can't relax around you! Who'd want to be around someone like that? Shin must be pretty mad still. I didn't mean it at all. I wish I could apologize. Hmm? Yo, bro. Nah, they, get... <laughs> they got this so fast, bro. Oh my goodness. Yo. Shin, boss. Shin, 
Did she just say, Shin? I'm here to retrieve my employee. Bro, they be popping up in like the most fashionable way, bro. Like, this is crazy. A motorcycle fell out of the sky? The car that happened to be behind them. Yoshida, age 28, inexperienced driver. All right, y'all, day 20, invisible highway. I'm here for my employee. Shin, boss, what? That's the real Shin? It's him, Seba, the kid from the photo. Well, that's good. All right, let's get him. Now they won't kill me back at the lab. They're from the lab? All right, that's your cue, guys. Yes, sir. Go get them, but don't get hurt. Wait, bro, just pee something. How did they get the motorcycles in the back of that van, bro? Like, we didn't even see motorcycles in the back of that van. <laughs> they just appeared in that van, bro. Hey, you porky. Take a nap, moron. Whoa! Ah! God! <laughs> What? Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take this piece of wood? Oh, sure. Help yourself. Huh? That little punk. What's he? Yo. Huh? <laughs> Wowzers. You making a movie or something? Yeah. God, you bastards will pay for this. Huh? Bro, full force, full momentum. Hitting someone in the face with the back of your motorcycle wheel, bro. Jeez. Th those guys are nuts. They wiped them out already? Looks like it. You should knock this off now. Huh? You don't want to make the boss angry. Before you get hurt any worse, you should apologize. What? Shut your trap. God, you know what'll happen if we go back to the lab empty-handed? They're way scarier than those guys. You should be scared too. When they're done with you, there's no telling what they'll- Yikes! Lou, you okay? S S Seba, pipe down. I can't hear the radio. Never mind that. Do something! Huh? And now, a letter from one of our listeners, P.O.O. <laughs> P-O-O. -O. Seba! Yeah, yeah, fine. Too bad I was enjoying listening to the radio. There'd better be bonus pay for this. If you come at me, I won't go easy on you. Seba, do your thing, okay? Yeah, yeah. Such a hassle. Wait, who, wait, who, who is this dude? Hold on, bro. Wait a minute. Why he, why he acting like he's, he, he's the man? Hold on, bro. Let me see something. Wait, your boss is incompetent. Yo, he just went invisible. Whoa, whoa, dude. Yeah. Watch out, Mr. Sakamoto. Yo. Wow, you got good instincts. <laughs> How scary. Let me go. Bro, he got a bullet hole in the tank. Uh oh. Dang. Mr. Sakamoto. Well, well. So that's the legendary assassin. I thought I was a goner there. Hey, did you get Shin? Whoopsies, forgot to get him. Seba. Look, let's just go back to plan A. We'll give them the girl instead. That wasn't plan A. They're getting away. Rats. Sucks that we lost the bike. The GPS tractor stopped at Okutabi. Who are those guys? I think they're from the lab. Now they won't kill me back at the lab. Lab? An underground scientific research facility known simply as the lab. It's not officially recognized by the government and it's where I was raised. Oh. I was there a long time ago. Well, they were a group of weirdos for sure but they weren't violent like this. And I definitely never saw gear like that before. What on earth? In any case, we've got to get Lou back. Shall we pay a visit to your old home? Okay. Yo, are Shin and Taro here? I found 500 yen under the vending machine, yo. Do you have any? Papa and the others aren't here. Huh? I wanted to tell them about Parents Day, but Papa and Lou and Shin are out. Oh, they're out, huh? Don't cry, here, you can have these acorns. Oh, and I have candies too. They're super yummy. Pee! I know, I'll go find them, yo. How? Pisuke can find anyone from the sky if he's seen them before. Pee! Really? Sure, leave it to us. Okay, Pisuke, do your thing. Wowie! Pee! <laughs> so, this is the lab. Yeah, we've brought Hana here a few times. Yeah, the museum is a front to hide the lab from the underworld. The Okutabi Science Museum. The lab is in the basement. I should get some souvenirs here for Hana and Oi. Mama, there's an invisible person outside. There's no such thing, sweetie. <laughs> nah, these little drawings at the end are funny, bro. I like these. All right, y'all, day 21, let's go to the museum. Let's go get Lou back. Yeah, two adults. Here you go, Okutabi Science Museum. Sure is crowded. That's because on the surface, it's just an ordinary museum. Welcome to the Okutabi Science Museum. You can learn all about science and nature here. Is this your first visit? You can take a photo as a souvenir. How about it? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. Oh, come now. Don't be like that. We're not interested in a photo. It won't take a minute. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> make a dinosaur pose. Rawr. The large print is 4,900 yen. One print, please. Please with photo. Look at that. 
Those suckers are buying a photo. If y'all have ever been to an amusement park that took your picture while you were on the ride and you can see the picture after you get off the ride, bro, I would never buy those, bro, because they were so expensive. Like, they would be so expensive, bro. And I'd, and I'd just be looking at them like, ha, huh, okay, that's cool, and just walk away, bro. Like, I'm not going to buy that unless it's like, maybe like once in a while, but not every ride I get off of, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. This is the perfect way to hide our faces, and it's comfy. First, we have to find the way down to the basement. Right, dang, working on the upper floor is so boring. Wish I could be down in the basement. I hear the pay is twice as much. Don't move. You work for the lab, don't you? What? <laughs> bro, look at shit in this, in this mask, bro. They look crazy right here, bro. Nah. <laughs> Who are these dinosaur idiots? Make a fuss and you're dead. Turn around and you're dead too. Now answer my questions. How do we get down to the basement? I I'm not telling you, you tubby dinosaur jerk. Bro, he just cracked the tooth off the dinosaur. Yowch! I I'm sorry. It's in the annex. The hidden pathway is in the annex. <laughs> Yo, he just shoved the tooth up bro's nose. Oh my goodness. Whoa, it's a T-Rex. It's huge. Follow these instructions to access the hidden pathway. Let's see. First, turn the dial on the clock in the exhibit to 820. Second, turn the neck of the taxidermy brown bear 90 degrees to the left. The elevator will appear between the two bears standing upright. That's so neat. What a hassle. They didn't have all this when I was here. Lastly, we use the ammonite fossil we confiscated from that guy and inserted here. Recognition error, fingerprints do not match. Identity confirmation decline. Huh? Error code 203, intruder alert. Yo, exterminated. Whoa! Target missed, exterminate. Oh. Yo, dude. They mean the mess out of that. They mean the best out of this bear, bro. System damaged, reactivating. Ugh, reactivating? Let's hurry and finish off this bear so we can get Lou back in time for dinner. Right, floor B2 inside the lab. Grr, let me go. Pipe down. What is this place? Tanaka. Y yes? Is that the clairvoyant boy? Yo? I would freak out, bro. What is this? Y yes. Hmm. Looks to me like neither the gender nor the hair color match the photo. Hmm. If you lie to Mr. Reindeer, you die, you know. Whoa. Uh -oh, dude, nah. This panel is a crazy panel, bro. He looks like, scary, dude. He looks familiar, though. Why does he look kind of familiar? I feel like I've, I've seen him before. I don't know. He, yes. H who is this? A reindeer? His face and hands are covered in stitches. Ugh, how creepy. Excuse me, Chief. May I interject? Yes, Seba. This one's not the right one, but I think I know how to find the real one. Seba! Gah, I'll get you for this, Seba! My butt hurts! You really know how to find him, Seba? Yes, absolutely. Very well. We need that boy, no matter what. Otherwise, you know who will be very disappointed. I can count on you, right, Seba? Right. I'll do my best. He squeezed the heck out of his shoulder. This can't be! Why am I here too? Seba, you traitor! Gah! Drat, I knew he didn't respect me. Yeah, he's the ex, dude! I. I was thinking the same thing too, bro. Like, yeah, this gotta be the X guy. Hmm, that mark. I've seen it somewhere before. Where was it? Man, it's been a while since I rode on the bus. My back hurts. Mr. Shishiba, let's eat these. Ha, <laughs> you still think that brings good luck? Does this place really have something to do with slur? Well, investigating that is part of the job. Fine then. Let's do this, Osaragi. Okay, yeah. This dude seems official. She seems official too. She seems like a low key official type though. Finally, it stopped moving. That was one tough teddy bear. Mr. Sakamoto, have you ever fought a real bear? I've done the standard animal combat training. We've wasted a lot of time here. Let's hurry. Right. First, we've got to pry that elevator open. Oh my goodness, bro. No way. Huh? What? Eliminate intruder. Initiating systems. I've never fought a dinosaur, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mr. Tanaka's probably really mad. Great. <laughs> All right, y'all, day 22, Jurassic Bastard. Intruder alert, eliminating. I've never fought a dinosaur before. Oh, whoa, this is insane. A moving dinosaur. I wish Hana could see this. What? <laughs> okay, then, we're taking this one alive. Try not to damage it too much. What are you thinking? Huh? Whoa, that's one agile dinosaur. Now, how do we capture it? Its tail is a real hazard for starters, huh? What's that? Mr. Sakamoto, there's some kind of electrical device in its head. You might be able to disable it without damaging it by using your taser. Great idea, Shin. Great idea. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, Steph. <laughs> yes, it's working. System rebooting. Combat level max. Oh, 
Mr. Sakamoto! Keep still. Oh, it hit the taser out of his hand. Oh no, the taser! I, I don't know how to do a growl T-Rex sound, but I'm... This is starting to be a hassle. I wanted to keep you intact, but never mind. <laughs> bro just straight up punches through the teeth and everything, bro. Dude. What? <laughs> Yo, bro. It's better when dinosaurs don't move. That's their mystique. Is that so? Underground HQ Research Lab A. The noises have finally stopped. What do you think that was? You don't suppose security at the entrance got tripped, do you? Hey, you stupid scientist jerks, quit slacking off. We need a break. We haven't slept in three days. Are you rebelling against the organization? If you want to rest, show us results, you useless hacks. I can't go on. <laughs> Miss Namiki, that's the fifth scientist to collapse this month. We can't work like this. Someone might die. Besides, do you really think this messed up research can succeed? Why on earth are we... Huh? Messed up? You just said something you shouldn't have. You just maligned the organization. Die. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Yo! Did he... Bro, he cracked his neck. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the whole don't kill, bro? This is killing someone. Breaking their neck? That's killing someone, bro. Ah! What? Yo, I haven't been back in a while. What's going on here? Shin? It's Shin. You came back. Why are you here? Don't worry. I'm not here to stay. Just got a little errand to take care of. Where's the boss? Shin, I'm sorry to break this to you, but the chief is locked up on the bottom floor. The lab has been taken over by a group of assassins. A group of assassins? Well, I don't want to be a guinea pig. At least let me out. Quit whining. <laughs> that was mean. What a savage woman. What are you doing anyway? What are you, blind? I'm breaking out. What? With that little rock? You think you could break an iron lock? That's a laugh. He's right. It's no use, miss. Huh? A lock is as strong as its mechanism is simple. Those bits of mortar rubble lying around are no match for iron. It's a bit like the rain and wind trying to wear down a boulder. Is this the boss that got locked up? In other words, breaking out this cell requires altering the fundamental properties of iron. Who are you, mister? If you want, I can tell you. How to open the locks. What? My name is Asakura. I'm the head of this research lab. Yup. Do you two want to break free with me? Huh? Why dinosaurs? Why is this happening? Seba, you idiot. Alright, y'all. Day 23, Asakura and Shin. My name is Asakura. I'm the head of this research lab. Do you two want to break free with me? You're the boss? If you're the boss here, then you're the one who had me kidnapped. No, I didn't. I'm locked up in here with you. What are you, stupid? Okay. Then tell me everything you know, mister. All right, I'll summarize the important points. This is the lab, a covert research institute. I was in charge here, but I don't know who's running things now. Six days and 13 hours ago, a mysterious armed group took over the facility. From what I've overheard, a number of them seem to be assassins. They locked me up down here when I didn't follow their orders. That's it. Then why am I here? I don't get it, mister. How the heck should I know? Who are you even? <laughs> oh, now that I think about it, you're the one who mistook me for Shin and kidnapped me. Did you say Shin? Shin the clairvoyant. You know Shin, mister? Do I know him? I'm the one who gave Shin his clairvoyant powers. What? I thought Shin was born that way. No, he was just an ordinary bratty little kid at first. It was my research that changed Shin's life. Hey, mister, I hate me. Here, take it. Shin, age six. Oh, snap, here we go. I want to know more about Shin, too, so this is good. Magnesium and other nutrients in meat help prevent malnourishment. Get it, you snot-nosed brat? Asakura, age 25. I hate the meat in the lunches you make because it's all tough and rubbery. Oh, fine. No point in wasting nutrients on an idiot. Gah. Why am I stuck looking after this brat? Ando, oh, you jerk. At the time, I was researching supernatural powers at the lab. An old friend of mine, Ando, left the kid with me and disappeared. Sorry to say, but I'm just not good with kids. Honestly, I don't even like them. Look at that dopey face. What is he even thinking? Huh? It's my special smoothie. I needed to focus in the afternoon. <laughs> Get out, you stupid brat! <laughs> Yo, this is ridiculous. I'm turning into a neurotic parent. Gah! Plus, my research isn't going well. Hey, mister, what you doing? Huh? Oh, I'm researching how to expand the thresholds of brain activity. I'm developing superhuman powers, in other words. I guess it's not surprising you don't get it. Is it fun? Ha! <laughs> Is it fun? What could be more fun? For one thing, nobody's ever done it before. It's cool to be the first person to do something, right? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, really? Just forget it then. I was going to show you when I succeed. Really? You show me? Yeah. One thing about me, bro, I am a sucker for these type of backstories, bro. I love these, bro. This type of dynamic is so cool. Dang, look at him. 
He's a total wreck. Spending so much time on research that will never succeed. I'm jealous that he has so much free time. Ow! Who are you to say he'll never succeed? Dang! Hey, 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 Shin is real for that though. That's what's up. <laughs> but then one day. Hey, what's this reaction? This is clearly different from anything I've seen before. Could it be? Now, to verify it against past data, let's see. I'm thirsty. Where's that data? Oh, snap. Uh, what have you done? Oh, Shin, are you okay? <laughs> he doesn't seem any different. Maybe the experiment was a failure. Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is the kid's fine. I am not fine. That stuff tasted terrible. Huh? Did I say that out loud? Dang, he read his mind. Okay, that, that's crazy. That's a crazy way to get his powers, bro. He accidentally got it. <laughs> I thought he was like some sort of like test subject or something. The experiment was a success. Hey, ta-da. I know what you're thinking. You want to see Namiki's underwear, right? <laughs> huh? Uh, what a creep. And the Miki thinks you're a creep. Shin could read people's thoughts. He was thrilled by the success of my research. But gradually, the other researchers started to avoid Shin. Hey, anyone want to play with me? Sorry, we're busy. Maybe some other time. Huh. A guy can't have a private thought around that kid. Oh, what a... A guy can't have a private thought around that kid. What a freaky ability. It's kind of scary. I feel sorry for him, but it's disturbing. It was bad luck for Shin. I just can't relax around him. Maybe I'll take up gardening. I was thinking that too, bro. Having all those thoughts in your head and not being able to like control it and like tune out people's thoughts is kind of insane, bro. He has all these thoughts that are going through his head at once. And it's like, it's gotta be nerve wracking, bro. I devote myself to my research because I believed it would serve humanity, but the results were entirely different. Sheesh. I'm done researching superhuman abilities. Just wait, Shin. I'll make a drug that will reverse the effects. Don't bother, I'm fine. Your project finally succeeded. Aren't you happy about it, mister? I'm so sorry I got you mixed up in my stupid research. Your research isn't stupid, mister. I've had enough of this crappy lab, you gloomy scientist. I'm out of here, mister. After that, he left. How can I ever face him? What a sad story! But I'm sure Shin doesn't hold it against you. And how would you know? I know because I know Shin. Shin likes his power, and the boss doesn't talk much, so I kinda envy Shin. Huh? Boss? But if you still feel bad about it, mister, we can apologize to Shin together. Good timing. I'm in a fight with Shin right now, too. Article 11 of the Sakamoto family rule is, if you get in a fight with someone, make up by the end of the day. It's Shin's new family's rule. Since your apology's kinda late, mister, it might be a good idea to bribe him with a treat. Shin loves cotton candy. <laughs> Gosh, I'm starting to feel like an idiot. Shin must be taller now, right, young lady? Bro just like, pour some acid on it? Who's there? See for yourself. <laughs> Oh, dang! All right, our escape mission has started. Oh, okay. Am I gonna die, bro? This dude Tanaka is still here. Mission priorities one: escape. Two: apologize. All because you drink that weird stuff. Lay off. I was thirsty. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm saying the same thing, bro. Like, dang, he got these superpowers just because he was thirsty one late night, bro. All right, y'all. Chapter 24: Assassin and Science. All right, shall we go? Diagram of the lab. All oh, the two assassins from the order are on the first floor, and then. Shin and Sakamoto are on the basement level, first floor. All right, bet. I want to hit up the gift shop. We're going to rescue Lou. Why me? We're going to escape. Then the weird taxidermy dude and, and Seba bro are on basement five. B4, Team Lou is escaping. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Sakamoto on B1, a group of assassins? They showed up six days ago. Pleased to meet you. I'm an assassin. The name's Kashima. We're searching for more innovative assassination tools. Guns and knives are so passe. Assassins need cutting edge technology too. To that end, we'd like to borrow your brains. Bro, this man is grabbing a person like this effortlessly, bro. Bro, he's bro, he's dragging him around like an empty bag. Like, what? The group consists of their leader, Kashima, a few other bosses, and their rank and file members wearing protective suits. Each of the bosses is in charge of a floor from B1 to B5. In other words, if we comb this place looking for Lou, we'll probably have to fight them. Don't be silly, you two should escape quickly. A patrol will be coming through here soon. If the bosses find you here, it's them, hide. <laughs> What's all this noise? Are you conducting a fun experiment, hmm? This design is kind of hard though. I'm not gonna lie, the dude is drinking, I don't know what he's drinking out of that IV pack, bro, but like, that is an IV bag that he's drinking out of. And he's got the needles, the little syringes in his back like that. You know he's a doctor or a scientist at least, bro. Like, you know he's got that type of, he's got that type of look to him, you know? Can I join in? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> look at Sakamoto, bro. Lend me your pen. Huh? Liar. Oh, God. Why were the underlings posted outside unconscious? 
You're hiding something. That bastard! Wait, don't come out, Shin. He'll kill you. I'm stuck. <laughs> so, who wants to talk first? Get out your pens, all of you. <laughs> huh? Yo. See? I knew it. You got pretty good reflexes, mister. Shin! Why'd you come out, you fool? I can't get out. <laughs> no special reason. I just don't like confined spaces. <laughs> Sakamoto's like, yeah, same, bro. Like, can I get out of here? Shin, would you mind getting lost? We already have enough guinea pigs. Are you the boss of this floor? So what if I am? Think you can mess with us? Aw, don't do that. We're doing some amazing research here. I know, I'll show you. What? Yo. Dude. He is, nah, he's mad fast, bro. Look at everyone. Everyone's still looking at where he was just at, bro. He's already behind Shin. <laughs> Wait, what did he just put on the back of his neck? Shin! <laughs> the subject has been primed. Let the fun experiment begin. Catch that! What? He watched you. You don't. Almost. <laughs> Isn't this a hoot? Cool, right? A speech reversing switch. The electricity supplied by the electrode implanted in your brain scrambles your brain signals. Look! Oh, go! Go to hell! Get him! Switch me back! <laughs> Let's try the next one. Finally. <laughs> Otom Akasamu! Huh? You seem to be having fun. Emphonuf! Ekam Daton! Don't make fun of me! Shin, I don't know what your history is with this place, but do you want to save it? Say, alright, it's time for some spring cleaning at your old home. Tigrala! Hehehe. <laughs> so you're the legendary assassin, Taro Sakamoto. Such amazing strength and speed. I'd love to study you. Too bad you're in such terrible shape. Now even I can get the jump on you. Now, what will happen this time? I don't care. <laughs> huh? Oh, he put the thing on the back of his neck. Mr. Sakamoto! Why? I meant to hit the enemy. Sorry. But my body didn't listen. <laughs> Isn't science a blast? Dude. Oh. Oh. So, if I try to hit Shin, I can hit the enemy. Weird. Hey, you're punching way stronger now. I didn't think of that, bro. That's actually like, that's logical though. Like, okay, yeah. If I try to punch you, I'm gonna punch Shin. But if I try to punch Shin, I punch you. Oh. I like the logic. I like that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's clever. That's very clever, man. And Mr. Sakamoto, he be thinking on the fly though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a smart dude too. People might be thinking like, oh, he a tubby dude that just works at a, at a store, bro. Like, no, he's actually like very intelligent, very fast, and very strong. You feel me? Like, he knows what he's doing. Nun Kayak. Wow. I can say some words. So? <laughs> Alright, y'all. Day 25, science bastard. When I tried to hit Shin, I was able to hit the enemy. You seem like you really meant it. <laughs> the injection in Sakamoto's neck caused him to invert enemies and allies in his brain. Isn't that fun? B1 boss, Mad Horiguchi. Well, whatever. <laughs> Basically, I just have to attack Shin. Three. Right. Huh? Oh, I actually punched you. Sorry. Cool, right? I sent an electric signal from this device. I can switch it on and off. I can toggle between enemy and ally back and forth. Oh, and also, watch this. <laughs> Tacky. Dude, nah, this dude is a freak, bro. This dude is a freak. Did he just inject himself with steroids, bro? <laughs> My goodness. Nippo Idwe. You're wide open. Some people never learn. Huh? <laughs> nice kick. You know how? Look at this guy, bro. He just keeps injecting himself. That's fast. <laughs> oh my god. Whoopsie, you're so light. You went straight through the glass. My man got a microscope. He needs a... This, okay, yeah, that thing that's on his wrist, Sakamoto gotta deal with that, bro. That's the thing that's, like, really messing him up, for real. Nice try. When your brain thinks you're attacking your partner, it automatically pulls the punch, see? Even the legendary hitman is rendered helpless by science. The Nimrioi Deiru Otava Sok Afrodia Wayavo. Whatever. I just have to read your mind. So what if you can read my mind? Dang! Dude! He stabbed, bro, multiple dirty needle stabs. What in the world? A lot of good it does you to read minds if you can't control your body. What a stupid ability. I'm so sorry I got you mixed up in my stupid research. I have no idea why the chief has any interest in such a worthless ability. It's so lame. I'm not impressed at all. Huh? The puts. 
Stupid, huh? I, I noticed that he hates when he gets called stupid. Come on, Shin, get up. Otomakase mirror! Don't mess up your clothes too bad. They'll be a pain to wash later. Huh? Also, Shin's powers aren't stupid. I'll prove that to you now. Hmm, it's hard to really relate when there's such a huge IQ gap. Time to kill you. Ah, it hurts so good! Mmm, initiate final experiment, dude. This dude is a freak, bro. Oh my goodness. What I want! Now what, Mr. Sakamoto? It's simple. Huh? Le Ruff? There's no use attacking me. You'll just keep hurting your partner. Ready? Say. <laughs> Yo! What the way? <laughs> my goodness bro i see by attacking all targets at the same time the attacks land even if i flip the switch but why am i the only one who's getting hit left hook right straight right uppercut left roundhouse kick right uppercut you humanities types hurt so good dang bro oh they hit the uh, they did the fist bumps too i thought i was gonna die b1 boss mad horiguchi defeated hold still ow electrode extracted thanks shin Thank you for saving us, especially after how we treated you in the past. Oh, it's all good. I like my abilities and where I am now. That's great, dang. You may be retired, but I'm still excited I managed to dodge the legendary Mr. Sakamoto's attacks. With you being fat, your punches pack even more of a- Oh, no. Why'd you just imagine killing me? No need to mention my weight. <laughs> Shin's kick hurt. Now we're even. Gosh, I haven't eaten anything but pork buns lately. Wish I could eat something like ramen sometimes. Pisuke! One hour later. Pee! Oh, hey, you're back, Pisuke. Pee! Huh? What's that stone? You'll give me a thousand yen for it? Yeah, it's just an ordinary stone, but it's kind of pretty. Awesome, now I can get ramen. Huh? Pork buns, 250 yen each. You're treating us all? That's rare. Yum, so good. It's just more fun when we all eat together. Ah, uh, that's a... I like Hisuke, bro. Hisuke is so cool, bro. That's a cool, that's a cool character, man. All right, y'all. There y'all have it. Sakamoto days, bro. We read like seven, six or seven chapters. So editing this down is going to be a lot, but it's going to be so worth it, bro. If y'all did enjoy the chapters, please do like, share, subscribe, bro. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.